Right guys, we've got a new shield one to look at here. This one is the Relicanth. I love that all the information is there for you to read. Uh, so you can freeze that and take a look at your leisure. Pop that there. Here's the knife. They all come in these little pouches, which are really nice made pouch. Has a stud there. If you're not into studs on your pouches, just super glue it down. I don't really carry a pouch much, I might if I'm camping, but they're also great for storing your knives in. Perfect for that. So here we go. And this one they're calling, they're calling this one a grey titanium or something like that. Straight off the bat blade centering, perfect. Nice looking clip, deep pocket carry, got a lanyard hole here. I'm not a lanyard guy but uh, there, there it is for you guys that are. Got a flipper tab here, no jimping on this one, it's smooth. Thumb studs, so we got thumb stud deploy and flipper deploy, let's see what it's like. Oop, messed that up. <laughs> There we go. Look at that blade, nice blade, grey titanium coating. That is super sharp. Yep. Shielding produced super sharp blades, which is awesome. So there's Relican threaten on there and Django, it's a Django design. Nice wedge up here, jimping on the it's like a harpoon shape. Uh, you got jimping where you pop your thumb there. No choil, but with the with these knives, I don't know about you, but I don't worry about cutting myself so much. It doesn't seem to happen and that often. But I wrap my finger there sometimes when I want to get real purchase on something. But uh, yeah, this blade. Wow, they come super sharp, these knives. This this is a good EDC. It's not heavy, what do they say? They call it 3.95 ounces. I don't have my scales here, so I can't double check that, but sounds about right. Doesn't feel heavy at all. Feels nice. I like this here. It's sort of scalloped out, and you can access the liner lock release bar real easy and that detent feels great I love that detent yeah All right, let's thumb flick it again yeah pretty nice looks like about three millimeters let's take a look yeah three millimeter blade stock it's about a three and a quarter inch blade overall Overall length about seven and a half inches. It's got some lightning holes inside for weight reduction. I can see some drilled out holes there. Both sides, double row of holes on this side and on the lock and bar side, single row. We got the G10 backspacer here. Nice nice uh, grippy ridges on the G10 handle. Feels grippy. I'm not feeling the uh, clip at, at all. Well, I know it's there, but it's certainly not in the way, left-handed. Same right-handed. Not in the way. i got XL hands. Uh, i got all four fingers on here. It's adequate. It's a good size to carry. Let's test the flipper. There's the lock and bar there. These things run on ceramic bearings. They're super smooth. Yeah, nice. Let's see if it's droppy shut. Oh yeah, <laughs> went on its own. Yeah, droppy shut. Nice knife. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
and uh, this is supplied to me by Shielden uh, so thank you Shielden for that I've got to experience four of their knives and I gotta say I like them all this is the cheapest one it's a D2 steel blade I mean you got thumb studs and flipper deep pocket carry nice G10 nice titanium coating on the blade these run for about 50 bucks I believe on Amazon so you got 20% off of 50 bucks uh, if you use the link down below there's Amazon link and there's a coupon code there just don't forget to add the coupon code yeah it's a nice nice EDC I like it thanks for watching guys have a great weekend we'll catch you later